This is comrade number three on the day of June 1st, 2020. I'm broadcasting from the metropolitan area in Arizona. What I'm about to disclose to you are the events that took place on the 30th of May, Saturday night, 2020. There was a protest in downtown Phoenix that me and a comrade by then, which we will call YHN, have attended. After recent events, after all the shootings and police brutality, we decided to go stand with our people. We stood there and the first instance was cop cars down the streets, blockades, riot shields, 20 to 30 men lined up on intersections to block off and to dictate and restrict traffic of whoever enters and who may not. The protests had been going on all day. We got there around 10.30 at night for a late night protest. As soon as we showed up, blockades were established, directions of traffic. We had to find a spot dead center of the city, in which would be one of our unfortunate choices at the end of the night. So as we decided to walk toward the crowd and see where the protests were, and hear the chants and see the people doing what they're doing protestfully, peacefully, you can see the riot shields and the cop cars and the units coming closer and closer with tear gas, armed with riot shields and shotguns loaded with bean bags. Riot control, as they called it. Pepper spray in hand and everything. We had hundreds of people standing face to face, chants as, I can't breathe, signifying that the man couldn't breathe. <laughs> To be quite clear, I'm more of a man that sees this movement as a giant movement for the people. It is no disrespect to those who see this as a contribution to their community, but the community is us because we are politics. The right word for politics is the people. And this is for the people. There were people there signifying, standing there for police brutality against black people. There were there people were there signifying the brutality against Mexicans. There were people there signifying brutality against the Native Americans, as well as the Asians. This was unbiased. People seen the brutality in America and it's because of the white chauvinist group that believed to control and hold the power to dictate people. Being that that protest has shown me that the people are communities which we, you know, forget every day. The one that do supply water, who had milk and syringes ready for tear gas and eyes and respiratory systems and passing out masks and spraying down with Lysol and giving them gloves, supporting water where they can and helping anyone where they can't, tearing down walls to people who can escape from the tear gas after being cornered. These nights are getting worse. And as you can tell over across America, it is only getting worse. There's a resistance out there that people are starting to see, and it's not just because of this. It's a resistance people have been wanting. The government can't help us. We stand for the government, the government doesn't stand for us, and we see that now, we are upset. There is no support. We are sheep being controlled, butchered, and profited off of for gain, personal gain. When in a time with neighborhoods and communities would thrive together to flourish and build, to prosper, to fix the problems that sat there from our grandfathers and our ancient ones that were left behind for us to inherit. Now is the time to wake up. Now is the time to see. The police are using force. But it's good to know that the military, ex-military, inactive military, are stepping up to protect their people for they understand we are them and they are us. It doesn't matter who, what color our pigmentation of our skin or our eyes are, our hair, or the ethnic group of things, the religion we claim, the God we see that supports us or saves us, the job that pays everything so we can, you know, survive the next day. We are not living to live, we are living to survive, unfortunately. The night of May. 30th, 2020, is one I will not forget due to the fact that I was shot at. I seen down the barrel of a loaded gun, 
loaded with a beanbag aimed towards me and all I could think was telling everybody run gun not even five seconds later I felt it hit my foot and I was lucky it hit my foot I was lucky it didn't hit my comrade YHN I was lucky it didn't hit the trans people that were trying to get the black man that had fallen over over a barricade that had fall there's a bigger crisis we have here and if we don't do it together as the people not even the United States of America this is no longer the United States of America this is a government controlled state where the people are told to follow and if you believe in the freedom that we fight for and that the government is taking from us you will stand you will take arms you will take sides on which it is because if you do not take a side and there's harm being done that blood is on your hands unfortunate truth of the world is everyone is too emotional everyone is too sissy everyone is a candy ass they don't know how to percept things we have millennials bitching that they don't have the privilege that we have even though they don't know what work is we've become weak dependent this is no more comrade number three as the head supervisor of PSFM, I sign off telling you, the world is changing. If you don't change with it, you'll be consumed by the thing you feared most. Losing control of yourself. Controlled by someone else. Today is June 1st, 2020. My last regards are for the people in the protests, for the people out there fighting the fight, for the people taking in the protesters, the hurt protesters, the ones that are fighting the cops and showing the brutality and the inhumaneness of America. We have people dying on the streets. There are people standing up for things that you don't see. Take the time and listen, but don't lose your hope. This is Comrade number three signing off. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.